Okay, so here are the fish that we were talking about. It looks like an 80s workout outfit. Does it work that well? Actually, oh! Woo! So today, we're gonna get a fish with legs, and has arms, and has fingernails. Okay, me, Victoria, and yeah, and you guys. We're getting the, the fish with legs, probably. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so Victoria found her favorite fish which is that massive flower horn. <laughs> okay, so here are the fish that we were talking about. We yeah. like that one. Yeah, so Victoria likes this one over here. So there's that one. Hi. There's also that one right there. Those are some interesting fish. So there's a few things you can do with them. They need colder water. So either you can get like a computer desk fan and leave the top off the tank and have that run across the water, or you can get a chiller. But I think what we're gonna do is I have an idea. Do you have an idea? No. Okay, and then this is what my flower horn used to look like. Okay, so this fish horn. is funny because it keeps doing that. That is a really pretty flower horn. Can we name him Bubba? And now he's much larger. And then we've got. When did I get one of those? You're scared that it's gonna pop? No, <laughs> I'm not scared that it's gonna pop. I don't really know. I don't really know. That I... much about them? No, I'll but. I'll give you the facts. Oh, gosh. Actually, just do that one back there. Okay. All right. Howdy there, partner. Oh my gosh, it looks huge now. They don't technically glow, glow, but, it's but like a, they, they fluoresce in, they in blue light. So. Oh my, all of you guys who went off on me when I said that axolotl looks like it's glowing, you guys said I was just wrong. No, they have this a glow like gene, a some of them do. So this axolotl, the one we, that we got, he's got a glow gene, so he's, he's kind of like fluorescent. I can't tell very well, but uh, can you? Yeah, that's why it stood out to me. I think I showed you guys the tadpoles that they got in, but there's a frog this morning, and uh, I don't know where he's at. Will he, will he barb me? I don't know a lot about stingrays. Or is he like debarbed? He's not debarbed, but they're actually like puppies. They're so I'm really... about to turn into Steve Irwin. Yes. Right. This one's a male. Oh, it's warm. Oh my gosh, he's so soft. Hey, hi Mr. Stingray. Wow. Well, at least I can say I touched a stingray. Do -do -do. Oh, we got cold. Yeah, it's chilly. Okay, so, got an axolotl. So they're supposed to have a bare bottom tank. You guys don't know what that means. It means just glass on the bottom. Like, don't put any rock or substrate. Um, that just depends on whether they eat the fine sand or not. I have really fine sand. So I'm gonna see if they try and eat it. And if I see them doing that, then I'm just gonna take it out. So you're probably wondering where I'm gonna put this guy. It's windy, but you'll see when we get home. Bye. <laughs> Look at him. You guys see him? Do you like them? What is that? Oh, it's rock. Yeah. All she wanted last time was, I want that one, that one. Well, look at us now. Little, little, little. <laughs> one thing that freaking adds up is feeding all these animals. But uh, hey. Got some chicken food for the little baby chickens that we have now, and for the mini goats, obviously. Okay, here we go. So this thing's been in here for probably about 15 minutes so far, and we put this light on. I don't know if you guys can see, but it changes color, so it looks super dope uh, under that color because it glows. And we're gonna make this easy because now these waters are the same temperature. I'm going to dump. Look at that. His body's green and his his gills are pink. He uh... looks like an 80s workout outfit. He does. He does look like that. Okay, so we've got to do a few things. We've got to take this fish out. This water is actually cold. Believe it, feel it. Feel how cold it is. No, it is actually really It is really cold. cold. This tank stays super cold. That's because I don't have a top on it. Well, it also is right underneath the air conditioning. Yeah, it's like, like... Just so you guys know, like this tank right here is 68. Oh, yeah, it's as cold as that. The one thing we might do is get like a computer fan. I don't know if I told you guys. So it runs across the water, which will work too to chill it down. That way we don't need to buy a chiller because a lot of people don't even use that in general. So what are you doing with the Pleco? I can keep him in here. Oh, can you? Yep. Oh no, that's a tiny net. How do you think this goby's gonna taste? For everybody who doesn't know where he's going, he's going in a pretty cool... Wow. Settle down, settle down. Gosh, it's a little strong. Whoa. Just... Now put him in there. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and, and he's trying to... All right, now we got the XLR left. Wow, here we go. Wow, that wasn't, that wasn't too hard. Dude, that thing is actually pretty big. So... Oh my gosh, he has 17 toes. So like I did tell you guys, I may have to remove the substrate. Like, uh, that's probably gonna be a must. I know a lot of people who keep them in substrate, but it just kind of depends on how he acts. Like if he starts eating it, I have to remove it. Because it can cause like a thing with them. Like, really? Uh, yeah. We'll eat it and then they can, uh, it'll make it harder for them to digest their actual food. That's just all dependent on whether they eat it or not. And if it's really fine sand, it'll be good. But there's some rock in here, some tiny rock, but I don't know. 
I'm interested to see. So we gotta keep an eye out on him. I don't think it's necessary, but he's in, he's good. Now it's time to rehome this fish. And then Chris also built something. So this is our Jade Gobi. We're gonna give him a new home over in the fish room, a temporary home at the minute, and then we're going to give him a massive home. All right, you're good? Cool. As much as I don't want to take him out of my room, he doesn't do a lot. So let's see what the is like. Okay, so I came inside and... <laughs> what, what, uh, <laughs> Chris, Chris decided to build this. If you want to see this being built, this is on his channel. Uh, this is going to be for launching bait. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> But we, we put some stuff in here. Is it is it like, does it work that well? Actually, oh! Um, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> wow. By the way, Chris did decapitate a small dog earlier. What? With a pine cone with this thing. So uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to be careful. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is the tank that it's going in for right now. So we've got to take the few guppies that are in here out and put them in the other tank. Being this tank right here. But this is a great tank until we find him like a dope home. We're 100% going to keep him. It's just like what type of tank are we going to get for him here or at my house. we got to figure that out. So let's get him in. Oh, he swam right in. Oh, okay. look at that. All right. Yeah, Settle you... down. Settle down. Yeah, we, we forgot to get the guppies out. <laughs> they would have died once he went in there. So we're going we're gonna to take him out. Okay, these are the three guppies. Two of them are pregnant. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave these to acclimate. So let's go get the other fish in. You ready? This fish looks 10 times cooler now that it's striped. Nope. All right, he's in. See, look, dude, he's like striped. Look at what him. What the heck? He's hungry. He's hungry. Oh, we should have left some guppies behind. Maybe he'll eat the snails. I don't know. He's crazy. He's a wild one. That fish is out. New fish or axolotl thing. I don't, I don't even know what it is. Is in. Okay. All right, so I'm trying not to catch the coronavirus in Walmart. At the same time, I'm looking for an office fan. Oh, all right. Let's just... Let's just use one of these things. This is where she said they were at. Just set this on top of there. Where are the mini ones? Oh, a freaking USB fan? That is perfect. This is the DIY chiller. Always figure out how to cheat the system, guys. Number one tip from me. I probably don't know much though. I'm just a 17 year old kid. Okay, so this is exactly what we needed because we can basically set it on top and point it down like so. And that should work perfect. It's just finding a place to plug it in. Oh my God. Okay, so I think it all just kind of comes down to did I plug it into the right place, but we're gonna, yep, so she's running. And that is officially blowing onto the water. So that's actually gonna cool down. You can't see it on the camera, but it's making kind of like little ripples down this way. But that is exactly what we needed. So that's gonna chill the water down. And it, and it doesn't look bad. Okay, so I've got some food defrosting for him right there, but here's what annoys me. Is he literally sits. Like, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can tell, he's under the filter. Like that's where he's, that's where he stays. So he's not out either. I don't necessarily know what exactly to do about that. Like you can kind of see his, you guys see his tail back there? It's just like right back there. Oh, he's moving. Come on, come on out, little guy. Oh, he went back farther. Okay, all right, well, maybe if I pull. Oh, that didn't work. Dang it. Okay, well, now you guys can at least see him laying down back there. Yep, he, there he is laying there. But see, I've put this back over. No, 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 no. All right, so he's finally out. There he is. Okay, good. Well, there's a bunch of bloodworms down there, so hopefully if I turn the light off, he comes out, and maybe at night he'll come out and get it. But at the same time, this Plutko right here, I don't know if you guys can barely see his outline, he'll eat it too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully y'all went on to enjoy today's video. We got a lot of crazy stuff on the channel if you haven't joined yet. Like, uh, that's an alpaca, that's a second alpaca, and then that's a miniature goat. Hey, Craig. Very sweet animals. But no, according to my Google Analytics, 61.5% of you are not subscribed, so click that subscribe button down below. If you've yet to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. But like I said, if you've yet to join the channel, click the subscribe button, click the like button, and click the notification bell. Join it all today. Yeah, but we did get an axolotl. That's a dope type of new thing that we have that we didn't have before that I love. So comment some names for it because it's a, it's unique. What are y'all trying to do? Can you, can you maybe not? You have to stay inside. But no, yeah, comment some names for him down below and with that being said i will catch you ladies and gentlemen on the next episode of fanatic craig say peace he doesn't know english all right peace <laughs>